Oh, hello there. I didn't see you standing there. What's that? You want to hear a story? Well, what a great time for a story. Uh, one of the things that you'll hear in the forest around us, if you listen, is the house wren. The house wren has just made his return from his winter grounds far, far to the south of here. And so today, because it's May time, I'd like to tell you a story about the wren. Long, long ago, when the world was young, the birds all gathered together in council, and they saw that man had kings that ruled over him. And the birds thought, this is an amazing idea. We should have a king. Why don't we have a king? So they all got together and they discussed who should be the king of the birds. And they all made their case. The crows, the ravens, the jays, the magpies. They said, we're the cleverest. Surely one of us should be the king of the birds. The uh, finches, the sparrows, they said, well, we're great singers. Surely one of us should be the king of the birds. The eagle said, I am the strongest. And the strongest means that I should be the king of the birds. And Wren said, but I'm the smallest. Maybe I should be the king of the birds. And everybody said, shut up, Wren, get out of here. And so they decided to have a contest. And because Eagle was indeed the strongest, they decided that whoever could fly the highest in the air would be the king of the birds. And one by one, they all took off from the ground and flew higher and higher. Close your eyes now, just for a second. Picture the birds taking off, millions of birds lifting off from the ground all at once, flying high into the air. Higher and higher they flew, and one by one they fell away, until at last Eagle was alone circling in the sky. And just as he was about to declare himself the victor, just as he was about to put the crown on his head, what should happen? But right between his wings, a little head, boop, popped up. Little wings spread out, and out from the feathers behind Eagle's head lifted off Wren from his back, and she flew ever so slightly higher than Eagle could fly. And that is why, from that day till this, everywhere in the world, Wren is known as the king of the birds. If you're interested in learning more about May folklore, um, about plants and animals and the other things that we share the forest with, or if you're interested in learning about edible and medicinal plants, then I invite you to join me at one of the three programs I'm hosting here at Hitchcock Nature Center uh, this May. Thanks, I hope to see you there.